Hey Cowboys Nation, get ready for a deep dive into the latest Cowboys updates. You'll learn in this video why Shaquille Leonard chose the Eagles over Dallas and Jerry Jones' response. Will the Cowboys sign the former Super Bowl champion linebacker in 2024? Plus, learn more about Darren Bland's record-breaking season and his comeback mission against the Eagles' dynamic duo. Stay tuned until the end and find out everything. Cowboys deliver a strong message to Shaq Leonard after he joins Eagles. The most recent updates on the Dallas Cowboys shed light on Shaquille Leonard's decision to sign with the Philadelphia Eagles instead of making a move to Big D. Owner Jerry Jones has addressed the rumors surrounding why the Cowboys couldn't secure Leonard. Jones refuted the idea that financial reasons were behind the decision. All indications suggest that Leonard believes the Eagles offer a better chance at a Super Bowl than the Cowboys. While wishing Leonard well, Jones emphasized his desire for the star to regret not choosing the winning side when the two teams face off in Week 14. The rivalry game takes on added intensity with Leonard opting for Philly over Dallas. Once more, it's important to highlight that we did have discussions with him, and there was a level of interest based on certain conditions if he were to join, Jones clarified in a December 5, 2023 interview with 105.3 The Fans Sean and RJ. However, he opted for Philadelphia, and that's the conclusion. Let's put all efforts into making him regret not being on the winning side come Sunday. Jerry Jones commented on Shaq Leonard's decision to join the Eagles, stating unequivocally that finances were not a factor. Leonard, unexpectedly released by the Colts on November 21, explored free agent opportunities with both Dallas and Philadelphia. Jones disclosed his belief that Leonard's choice was primarily influenced by the team offering the optimal chance for a Super Bowl victory. Certainly, on an individual basis, I wish him the best, Jones emphasized. Acknowledging Leonard's distinguished career, Jones clarified that financial considerations were never part of the discussion. Their meetings, which included lunch, were positive, and money was never a point of contention. The Dallas Cowboys, as proposed by Matt Holder from Bleacher Report, could emerge as a favorable destination for a former Super Bowl champion in 2024. The team faces a significant need at the linebacker position in the upcoming offseason, given the uncertainty surrounding Leighton Van Der Esch's career due to yet another season-ending neck injury. With the longtime starter's future in doubt, Dallas may find itself compelled to seek a potential replacement. Holder points out, with Leighton Van Der Esch's career in question, Dallas might be looking at the free agent pool for linebackers this offseason. While Keanu Neal has performed admirably, particularly in coverage, his conversion from safety leaves the defense in search of a natural linebacker with solid or superior run-defending abilities. In light of this, Holder recommends pursuing Tampa Bay Buccaneers defensive captain, Levante David, as a free agent whom the Cowboys should target. Cowboys should pursue Levante David. David can bring that and more as he's built a career out of being a complete backer, writes Holder. He's fared well in Pro Football Focus's grading system against the run this year and for several years and had 14 TFL through Week 12 of this season. Plus, he's getting up there in age and might be willing to take a cheaper deal to play for a Super Bowl contender. Why the Cowboys should entertain the idea of acquiring Levante David David has served as the linchpin of the Buccaneers' defense since his draft in 2012, securing three All-Pro selections and a Pro Bowl nod after the 2015 season. Despite being 33 years old and one of the league's most accomplished linebackers, he is now in the twilight of his career. After his tenure under a substantial five-year, $50.3 million deal spanning from 2015 to 2020, David has opted for more modest contracts. Following a two-year, $25 million agreement before the 2021 season, he returned to Tampa Bay this recent offseason on a one-year, $4.5 million deal. Pro Football Focus suggests that, to play in Dallas and vie for another Super Bowl ring, David would probably agree to a contract similar to or even smaller than his previous deals. Despite his age, David's performance remains impressive, with a 66.0 defensive grade and a 70.5 run defensive grade this season. Notably, these grades surpass those of the Cowboys' existing linebackers, Van Der Esch included, except for Micah Parsons, who holds an 80.5 defensive grade. 
Most significantly, David has displayed remarkable durability throughout his 12-year career, missing just 12 possible games in the first 11 years. In contrast, Van Der Esch has missed 23 games and is continuing to do so over the past five seasons alone. There's speculation that Leighton Van Der Esch's career may come to an end due to a neck injury. When discussing Van Der Esch's injury in November, team owner Jerry Jones suggested that the veteran's latest neck ailment, the fourth in the last five seasons, could seriously jeopardize his career. Jones stated on November 14, 2023, during an appearance on 105.3 The Fan, he's an integral part of that defense out there. We just wish him well, and the nature of his potential injury here causes me to think longer term, beyond what it means for next week or next month. It has everything to do with what's in his best interest. Given the severity of Van Der Esch's injury and the limited depth at the linebacker position, the Dallas Cowboys recently pursued free agent linebacker Shaquille Leonard. It is advisable for the Cowboys to contemplate securing Levante David on a cost-effective contract ahead of their crucial matchup with the Philadelphia Eagles, where a share of the NFC East lead is at stake. With the NFC East lead up for grabs, Dallas's defensive success this season can be attributed to an unexpected standout. In just 12 games of the 2023 campaign, Cowboys cornerback Darren Bland has already established a single-season record with five interceptions returned for a touchdown. Pro Football Focus notes that Bland is maintaining a stifling 52.4 passer rating for opposing quarterbacks targeting him, presenting a compelling case for an all-pro nod this season. In a December 5 story, ESPN's Todd Archer hailed Bland as the Cowboys' pleasant surprise of the season, noting that he leads the NFL with eight interceptions and has set a single-season record with five pick-sixes. Bland's exceptional performance comes while stepping in for Pro Bowl cornerback Trayvon Diggs, who suffered a season-ending torn ACL in Week 3. The Cowboys initially believed they would be fine with Bland, who led the team with five picks last year, but his recent struggles, conceding numerous catches and yards in the past two games, suggest he might be hitting a wall or adjusting to the challenges of playing as a regular cornerback. Bland's exceptional performance this season follows Trayvon Diggs leading the NFL in interceptions two years ago, earning him a first-team All-Pro selection. The 24-year-old rising star for the Cowboys is on track to potentially become Dallas's second All-Pro at the position in the past three years. Looking ahead to the Cowboys matchup against the Eagles in Arlington, Bland is focused on bouncing back from a recent subpar outing against Seattle, where Seahawks star DK Metcalf had a standout performance with six receptions on eight targets, primarily against Bland, accumulating 134 yards and three touchdowns in a 41-35 Seahawks victory. Despite this setback, Cowboys defensive coordinator Dan Quinn remains confident in his star cornerback. The term I'd use for him is resilience. He's tough as hell, he's ready to battle back, Quinn told reporters on December 4. Quinn and the Cowboys express optimism regarding Bland, emphasizing that, despite a less-than-ideal performance, he secured his eighth interception of the season. However, the challenges won't diminish for Bland and the Cowboys as they approach the December 10th game. A.J. Brown, with an average of 14.4 yards per reception and seven touchdowns, and Devonta Smith, amassing over 90 receiving yards in four of the last five weeks with four receiving touchdowns, pose formidable threats. 